More data does not mean better observability. If you had unlimited amounts of free storage, then you could store every piece of Melt data without a worry in the world. But it's complicated because storing data is not free. So you end up storing lots of unneeded data and spinning your wheels, figuring out what to store and what to discard after the fact. Therefore, we wanna show you Edge, how Edge Delta helps collect, transform, and maybe even discard unused data before it reaches your favorite observability tools. Joining me from Edge Delta is David Wynn. So, hey David, um, could you tell us more about Edge Delta and its capabilities? Absolutely, Mel. Thank you so much for having me. So Edge Delta is basically trying to turn observability upside down on its head. Whereas the old model might be get all of the melt events somewhere where we can apply a bunch of compute to it and then get something out of it. We ask the question, well, why don't we try and do as much work with it where the data actually is before we send it anywhere else, across any isolation boundaries, across any network hops or anything like that, especially if we need to do this in a massively distributed way. So we take the approach of using an agent. There is no SDK. There's no need to redeploy or re-include anything. Uh, which will collect all of that information. We can do this over some specialized inputs, but we also have all of your classic generic inputs from files and TCP and UDP and, all, and the like, from which we can transform all of that information in flight. Or we could just route it to the appropriate place that it needs to go without having to bounce to any other clouds first. So let's say you're using a high capability index like Datadog or Splunk or any number of other observability tools that you may have but a lot of that data isn't necessarily being used. Some of it's intensely used. And then some of it is, shall we say, gracefully sitting in the corner waiting for a better day. Uh, maybe that just means that data is in the wrong place and it needs to be either in a simpler index, maybe just open search, or maybe it just needs to be in S3 for a rainy day, a really rainy day, in case you need to go pull it out and figure out what's going on. We help enable all those different types of use cases. Fantastic. I wanted some hands-on experience with Edge Delta, so I installed the Edge Delta agent on Kubernetes. Then I installed Nginx and sent both valid and invalid HTTP requests uh, and observed the output via the Edge Delta console. The agent delivered data that I can easily sort through, transform, and send to a destination like InfluxDB, AppDynamics, and so many more. I also installed the Edge Delta agent natively on my Mac OS and exported syslog data from an ISR 1100. I configured syslog to point to my Mac and then used the cloud-based Edge Delta console to configure the Edge De uh, Delta agent's input to listen on UDP and TCP ports uh, 5140. I could see the syslog data appear in the Edge Delta console, which means it's available for processing before sending to one or more destinations. David, in this setup, uh, what are some options to transform the incoming data? In other words, do something about the data before it even reaches the output so that I don't end up with a meltdown of too much melt data? Sorry, that was uncalled for. That was that, bad. That was necessary, there. I think. I that think was that was bad. necessary, absolutely. <laughs> uh, so it's a great question, Mel. The, the good news is that you would configure these whether you're doing something on a VM or you're running inside a Kubernetes cluster exactly the same way through our interface. And those configurations get checked in for by the agent. So we don't push anything down. The agent checks in to see if it needs to pull anything down, which matters a lot in terms of how you have to set up the environment uh, around making sure that all your requests are good and such. The way you do it, actually, I have a, a demonstration set up right here. So this is a reflection, actually, of the, the config that you set up. Good job, by the way. Uh, oh, okay. Where we can see on the left-hand side, we've got all our various inputs. And then on the right-hand side, we've got various outputs. Those are the most direct ways to do it. Here, we're just showing the edge delta outputs. You're correct that we both have a data plane view if you wanted to use edge delta for logs and metrics and the like. But we also can just serve as the control plane for the uh, agents as well. You don't have to use our data plane if you don't want to. All of the work actually happens in between here so that you can see all of the data in this case is coming straight through a masking function. So let's say there's some kind of PII, some kind of information that should absolutely never pass through here. And I already know that because we already controlled for that. But just in case, always good to trust but verify. Uh, so just in case, you can throw in a regular expression here and make sure that anything is replaced with the word redacted before it moves to any downstream system for longer term storage. Or maybe you just need to drop some data. So let's say uh, 
let's say there's a weekly deploy and the application team accidentally left debugging log logging on and it's chewing through a bunch of storage and compute or credits or whatever mechanism you use to control this. There's no need to wait for next week's deploy and really hope that nothing goes wrong. You can just add in a drop filter here, make sure that data goes straight to dev null, everyone's comfiest and homiest place, uh, and we can pick it up again and make sure we remove that next week when they get things redeployed. Or if you have a device which is not natively instrumented the way that a lot of things are for metrics these days, and instead it uses a, a mechanism that's more log-based, then you could take that information that's being sped out of there and convert that into metrics. So let's say you only care about response time or the number of drops or the number of warns for a given domain. You can aggregate all of that type of information and just send that downstream to your uh, appropriate endpoint. And you can see here, you can do any number of these different things in this spread out pipeline view before it lands in whatever your metric system may be. It doesn't have to be Edge, could be Grafana, could be any number of other tools. One of the other things that I like about or the variety uh, or I like about it are the variety of inputs that make it easy for large enterprises to include many different services, devices, and applications, perhaps spanning multiple parts of the organization. In theory, you could bring all the data into a central point, categorize, label it, or maybe even discard unneeded data before sending it to one or many destination options and do so in a uniform way. That sounds very flexible. Absolutely. I like to say all problems in computer science can be solved with an additional layer of indirection. Well, here it is. Awesome. Well, David, this was super insightful and helpful. Thank you so much for your guidance. For all of you watching, to get started with Edge Delta, visit edgedelta.com and start your free trial. Also, feel free to post your questions about the details of the configurations used in my setup. Thanks for watching.